Coach, uh, a couple months ago when we talked, you said that you were impressed with Elijah and you're excited about the opportunity to coach him and to get to know him more. Since you and him have been on campus together with practice, how has your relationship furthered and what do you have to say? And what you've seen. Uh, Eli is a very talented young man. Uh, he's got great vision, got, got physical skills, uh, and uh, really broad skill set. You know, pretty much everything you could add in the Big 12 from what I've seen. Eight. Um, really enjoy Eli. You know, he is uh, a young man that wants to be right every single uh, he's got a great sense of urgency and great sense of pride in doing everything the right way. Kels? Hey, Coach, how big of a challenge, maybe what was the biggest challenge for you coming in here and to take over a new position in a new place with all this craziness going on? Yeah, you know, just like the question before, it was, it was a challenge to develop relationships on Zoom. Um, and that's what's been so great about getting the chance to work with these guys uh, in person and develop those relationships. Even though, you know, Scotty and I, you know, we both coached at North Dakota State, Wyoming, scheme-wise and those things, uh, there's always still some little just, you know, in communication, verbal and nonverbal, you know, with the players that you got to, uh, you can only do in person. You know, you can't get that done. So getting to work with these guys and getting to know them and really have appreciated Eli, Cody, Justin. You know, they've had two, maybe four linebacker coaches in their career here and uh, really appreciated their attitude. John Kurtz. Yeah, well, along with that, Steve, <clears throat> with Justin, I mean, what, uh, how much does he lead that? That group and you know you know right now I feel real, uh, real positive about all four of the backers you know with Eli Justin Deuce and Cody um, Deuce is really uh, very communicative uh, he understands everything you know as he continues to come come back from that you know the issue for him is probably going to be the uh, the movement skills and as long as he understands his angles and uh, puts himself and can be an effective player. Um, but yeah, both Justin and Eli and uh, leaders uh, on this defense. Oh, he's kind of the unsung guy. He's, he's a senior that uh, I'm developing confidence and putting him on the field. And uh, I think he can give us some really valuable reps. I want to ask we'll too do. about uh, a fresh when Jay Hare impressions have been of him so far? You know, uh, both uh, Jay and Keys uh, can run. They both can cover a lot of bodies. They're probably a little undersized right now. Um, certainly, training table, the strength program, all those things are continue to help. I know Jay was fired up. He came in and told me he weighed three. So, you know, once you break that 200 barrier mark for guys, that, you know, came in, you know, 190 pounds. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Derek Young. Derek Young. Yeah, Coach, what, what have been your first impressions of Deuce, Daniel Green? You know, I, I really am enjoying uh, Deuce's attention to detail right now. Um, he's smart. He wants uh, to soak it all up. And sometimes – you know, we'll be talking about one thing, and, and, and Deuce's mind has already gone on to step two and three. And then, you know, I always got to say, let's stay focused on step one before we go to two and three. Uh, but he is always in questions in those meetings. I mean, he wants to understand not only Mike and Will, but he wants to understand the entire scheme. I think Deuce has a bright future here. Yeah, Coach, welcome to Manhattan. What is the benefit of having two seniors that have been around the block in, in Jay Hughes and, uh, and Elijah? Yeah, I was talking to Justin the other day. 
and he, how old are you, Justin? He goes, 24. And I go, Eli, how old are you, 23? And I go, how, how long have you guys been here? And, and then I started thinking when I was 24, I was coaching. And I think I had my first child at 24. So uh, we've been around the block, and, and they bring uh, to the table, both on and off the field. Um, and, you know, like I said earlier, them and, and their coached by yet another coach. I think they respect the fact that we've all come from uh, similar trees, you know, Coach Kleiman, Coach Klanderman, Coach Hazelson, myself. And so we've all been around the same scheme for a lot of years. So not like an entirely brand new guy that doesn't understand the system. Yep. I'm here, Kellis. With Jen, I know you don't have a ton of experience with him in the past, but does he look at full speed right now, or is there any rusting off? Oh, I think, you know, probably dusting off some rust. Because it's been a little while since he's played some football. I know he had spring ball, I think it was last year. I don't know how much of that spring he, he finished. So, yeah, it was great to get out there and go live. You know, we had live cuts and some of those things. And he got cut a couple times. And after practice, he said, I got to get back into, you know, getting down there and playing a little lower against some of those cuts and, and just tackling all those things. You know, in a long time for a lot of our guys since they've tackled, you know, Jan, uh, not to mention Justin in the last time a year ago. So he'll get there. But his, his mental part is what separates Justin, understanding where he's supposed to be and communication part of it with the rest of the defense.